And increasingly, in recent years, we're discovering that the seeds of some cancers are being sown in the workplace. Unlike the occupational hazard that's obvious, the giant ripsaw, the molten metal, the rigger's lofty perch, the origins of cancer in the workplace are subtle. They might be microscopic particles or chemical fumes, low levels of radiation, a large amount at one time is bad, but even taken in small doses day after day, they build up like a long-term bank account. The only difference is that this bank account pays off in a slow, lingering death, short-circuiting all the grand plans we made, wiping out those long-awaited golden years. <coughs> know that a man's occupation might be dangerous to his long-range health. How can anyone point to an industrial substance and state positively that it causes cancer? Sometimes scientists are a little embarrassed when we're asked, what took us so long to begin to discover that things are causing cancer in the workplace? Well, Nature played a dirty trick on us in one sense. Most things that cause cancer take a long time uh, to do it. Kids begin smoking, for example, at uh, 15, 19, 11, and they don't die at 21 of lung cancer or even at 30, they die at 50, they die at 60. This long period of clinical latency, the same thing is true of cancers in the workplace for the most part. And therefore, it's been hard to, to find out that something that someone was exposed to 20 or 30 years ago is responsible for the cancer that he now has. Taken one case at a time, an individual death, even a cancer death, tells us very little. But when many men with similar work exposures are examined, an unusual pattern will draw attention to itself. We may not know exactly what is causing cancer, but we are finding out that there are some things in certain occupations that are clearly associated with more cancers than we ordinarily would expect. One of our problems is that uh, things don't stand still, and whatever happened in the past may or may not uh, exist today. Most of the things to which we're now exposed are almost post-World War II. The whole plastics industry, the whole chemical industry, uh, had its marked growth uh, in the last 30 years. Uh, therefore, most of the cancers that would be associated with our, our new chemical environment are only now upon us to begin with. And uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, they're going to be with us in the next 30 years, uh, pretty much no matter what we do now. Starting 10 or 15 years ago, we had a very uncomfortable piece of bad news. We found that the things which cause cancer in the workplace don't necessarily stay in the workplace. The, the factory gate is certainly no barrier to them. Very often workers will bring home some of the dusts and chemicals with which they work and we've begun to find that their wives and children can get the same kind of cancers that they might get simply as a result of working. 